Have you ever seen a solar eclipse? These incredible cosmic events are a sight to behold, but they come with some important safety considerations. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon moves between the Earth and the sun, temporarily obscuring our view of the sun entirely or partially. This celestial dance between our planet, the moon and the sun is a significant event, a moment that brings together science, nature and human curiosity. But with this awe-inspiring spectacle, there are safety concerns. The sun's light is incredibly intense and looking at it directly, even during an eclipse, can cause serious eye damage. It's a bit like the mythical Icarus flying too close to the sun, except in this case you don't need wings, just your eyes. So how can we safely enjoy this astronomical spectacle? Let's dive into it. First things first, protecting your eyes is crucial when watching a solar eclipse. It's not enough to say it's important, it's absolutely vital. The sun, in all its blazing glory, emits powerful rays that can cause severe eye damage if viewed directly. Think of the sun as an ultra-powerful projector and your eyes as a movie screen. Now, imagine what happens when the projector's brightness is cranked up to maximum and beamed directly onto the screen, non-stop. That's the kind of damage we're talking about here. The sun's intense light can literally burn the retina, the light-sensitive layer at the back of your eye. This condition, known as solar retinopathy, can lead to permanent visual impairment or even blindness. So how do we protect our eyes during a solar eclipse? Regular sunglasses, despite their dark lenses, are not sufficient. Contrary to popular belief, they don't offer the necessary protection against the sun's harmful rays. Sunglasses are like a garden fence trying to hold back a tidal wave. They're simply not up to the task. Safe solar viewing requires specialized glasses or handheld solar viewers. These aren't your everyday shades. They're designed to block out thousands of times more light than regular sunglasses, providing the protection your eyes need when gazing at an eclipse. But not just any solar glasses will do. They need to meet the ISO 12312, two international standard for safe solar viewing. Inspect your eclipse glasses or viewer carefully before use. Any scratches, tears or other damage, discard them. They're as good as useless. And if children are involved, be sure to supervise their usage closely. In a nutshell, never and I mean never look directly at the sun without proper eye protection. Not during an eclipse, not ever. It's like playing Russian roulette with your eyesight. It's not worth the risk. Remember, your eyesight is irreplaceable. Don't risk it by looking directly at the sun without proper protection. So, what can you use to safely watch a solar eclipse? Enter solar viewing glasses and handheld solar viewers. Solar viewing glasses, often referred to as eclipse glasses, are not your everyday sunglasses. These are specially designed eyewear that allows you to gaze at the sun without harming your eyes. These glasses are thousands of times darker than regular sunglasses and they block out the harmful ultraviolet and infrared radiation emitted by the sun. Handheld solar viewers, on the other hand, are devices that you can hold up to your eyes to view the sun. They function similarly to the solar viewing glasses, filtering out the harmful rays while allowing you to enjoy the spectacle of a solar eclipse. Now, not just any solar viewing glasses or handheld viewers will do. They need to comply with the ISO 12312, two international standard. This standard ensures that these devices are safe for direct solar viewing, reducing the intensity of the sun's rays to a safe and comfortable level. Before using your solar viewing glasses or handheld viewer, it's crucial to inspect them for any potential damage. Check for any scratches, tears or other forms of damage. If they're damaged in any way, they're not safe to use. Discard them immediately. And remember, safety isn't just about having the right equipment. It's about using it correctly too. If you're using the solar viewing glasses or handheld viewers, make sure you're not looking at the sun through a camera lens, telescope, binoculars, or any other optical device. The concentrated solar rays can burn through the filters and cause serious eye injury. Also, always supervise children when they're using these devices. They might not understand the risks involved and could potentially harm their eyes if they use them incorrectly. With the right equipment in good condition, you're ready to safely enjoy the solar eclipse. Don't forget to take breaks though. Even with protective eyewear, it's not advisable to stare continuously at the sun. So take it in, enjoy the view, but also remember to look away and give your eyes a break. 
With the right equipment in good condition, you're ready to safely enjoy the solar eclipse. While telescopes and binoculars might seem like a good idea to get a closer look, they can be incredibly dangerous. Now, you might be wondering, why is that? Well, these optical devices are designed to magnify and intensify light. This includes the rays of the sun. When you view the sun through these devices, the magnified sunlight can instantly and severely damage your eyes. Think about it like this. Imagine using a magnifying glass to focus sunlight onto a piece of paper. The concentrated light can easily start a fire. Now, imagine that piece of paper is your eye. Pretty scary, right? The same principle applies to camera lenses. Looking at the sun through a camera lens without a special purpose solar filter can cause instant and severe eye injury. This is because the lens focuses all the light, including harmful ultraviolet and infrared radiation, onto a small point. In the case of your eye, that point is your retina, the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eye. But what about viewing the sun with solar viewing glasses or handheld viewers while using these optical devices? Surely that must be safe? Unfortunately, that's a big no. The concentrated solar rays from these optical devices can burn through the filter of your solar viewing glasses or handheld viewer, causing serious eye injury. This is a critical point to understand. Even if you're wearing solar viewing glasses or using a handheld viewer, you should never, ever look at the sun through a telescope, binoculars or a camera lens. The risk of severe eye damage is just too high. Now this doesn't mean you can't use these optical devices at all during a solar eclipse. You can, but they must be equipped with a special purpose solar filter securely attached to the front of the optics. These filters are designed to protect your eyes from the intense light and radiation from the sun. So steer clear of optical devices unless they're equipped with a special purpose solar filter. Your eyes will thank you. Without the right equipment, you might feel left out. But don't worry, there's a safe and simple way you can still enjoy the solar eclipse. This is where the magic of indirect viewing methods comes into play. Picture this, a pinhole projector. It's simple, safe and you can easily create one at home. So, what exactly is a pinhole projector? Imagine a small opening like a hole punched in an index card projecting an image of the sun onto a nearby surface. It's as simple as that. But remember safety first. Never look at the sun through the pinhole. That's a big no-no. The beauty of this method is that you're not looking directly at the sun. Instead, you're safely viewing a projected image. Now, let's get crafty and build our own pinhole projector. You'll need two pieces of white card. Punch a small hole in one piece of card and let the sunlight shine through that hole onto the second piece of card, which will serve as a screen. Voila! An image of the sun will be projected onto the screen card. It's fascinating to see the sun in this safe and indirect manner. But wait, there's more. You can also use everyday items to create pinhole projectors. Consider a kitchen colander. Its small holes can project multiple images of the sun onto a white surface. Quite a spectacle, isn't it? While these methods might not give you a telescope-like view of the solar eclipse, they allow you to safely observe the phenomenon. And remember, the key here is safety. Never let the excitement of the event push you to take risks that could damage your eyes. With a little creativity, you can safely experience the solar eclipse even without specialized equipment. As we've seen, enjoying a solar eclipse doesn't have to come at the expense of your eyesight. The key is to remember that looking directly at the sun is unsafe unless you're using specialized eye protection designed for solar viewing. This is not your everyday sunglasses, but safe solar viewing glasses or handheld solar viewers that adhere to international safety standards. These devices are thousands of times darker and protect your eyes from the sun's harmful rays. But be cautious if you're thinking about using optical devices like a camera, telescope or binoculars. Without a special purpose solar filter, these can cause severe eye injury. If you don't have the right gear, consider indirect viewing methods, like a simple pinhole projector. It's a safe and fun way to experience an eclipse without risking your eyesight. With these tips in mind, you're all set to safely enjoy the next solar eclipse. Until then, keep looking up.